We're here on the Highlander Sports Network following NJIT men's soccer's 4-3 to three loss to Drexel. Joined by the head coach, Fernando Barbodo. And, and coach, this was a, a, a dynamite match to watch. Uh, it was back and forth. There was supremely talented players on both sides showing off exactly how much talented they were. Uh, just kind of unfortunate that you were on the wrong end of it. What did you tell the team after after a match like this? Yeah, I, I just uh, I, I don't think we defend. I think we defended very poorly today. Um, made some really bad mistakes in the back. Um, so I, I addressed them uh, in regards to defending. You know, some of the details that we had addressed before the game that we didn't. Uh, you know, we didn't we didn't really follow or execute. Um, very well. One of the good things about today was that you, ha you got goals from Rex and Rennie, as you usually do, but you also got Alejandro on the scoreboard for the first time uh, this year, coming into his second year after being the ace on freshman of the year in 2019. Uh, uh, what, what's, how's, how's he developed over the, the course of that year into this year? Yeah, I think, you know, Rebel is extremely powerful, uh, talented attacking player who, who's got some really strong capabilities in the air, um, you know, but I, I don't think the, the, you know, I don't think the pandemic uh, helped, uh, you know, the off season, you know, as we, we wanted to develop him further. Um, but he's, he's a great talent. Um, and, uh, you know, we look forward to really making him reach his potential. Well, now this is what you've been looking forward to, getting a little bit of rest in after six games in, in 18 days and, and going back into America East to play with a couple of critical matches coming up. Yeah. Uh, what, how do you move forward from this and, and get, the, get everybody ready to, uh, to take on Stony Brook and, and UMBC down the stretch here? Yeah, I, I didn't really say a lot after the game. I mm. uh, just kind of said, you know, let's take the days off. Um, Monday we'll, we'll, we'll train real light. If, if any, if, if we may not even train, just do video, um, to really kind of recharge, you know, the battery, so to speak. And, and, um, and we got to prepare, you know, Saturday's, uh, Friday's game against Stony Brook is, it's probably the biggest game of the year for us. Um, and, uh, we need to go on the road and, and, and get a result. The Highlanders play on the road at Stony Brook next, and they will turn home on Tuesday, April 6th, when they take on Fordham in non-conference action here at Lebeckin Field at Mount Simon Stadium. Coach, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. You're welcome. Thank you.